everyone. Uh, before I get to these teleprompters, I just want to do one thing. Before we uh, congratulate Jake, we have to understand the, the roots and where he comes from. And his mother, Elizabeth, loves celebrating. She loves celebrating with tequila. So I raise my glass to Elizabeth. Salute. Wow. What an awesome night. I'm incredibly stoked to be here. I'm honored to have this opportunity to pre present my friend and brother, Jacob Glazer, with the Partners in Activism Award. Jake's mother, Elizabeth Glazer, was an amazing HIV and AIDS activist, and his father is none other than an actor, writer, and director, Paul Michael Glazer. In 1981, while giving birth to Jake's sister, Arielle, Elizabeth hemorrhaged and had to get a blood transfusion. Unbeknownst to her, she passed the HIV and, HIV and AIDS virus to Arielle through breast milk and Jake in utero in 1984. In 1987, Arielle passed away. Now, losing a family member is hard. But losing a loved one because no one knew how to help was unacceptable. Therefore, Jake's family started the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation to save Jake's life in 1988. Sadly to say, Elizabeth passed away seven years later. Um, and it was in that honor that, that, the award, uh, that the foundation was renamed in her, in her favor. Ever since, Jake has carried on his mother's legacy. As an HIV positive young adult, Jake works with his foundation and within his community to advocate on behalf of everybody affected by or infected with HIV. While supporting his mother's dream, Jake is an incredibly passionate person and advocates for life with every step he takes. His story and his passion have grown to inspire me greatly. Many of you might be asking, who's this guy telling you all this? Well, the Schroer and Glazer connection was molded long before I was even born. At the age of one, Jake sat on his father's knee on the set of the 1980s action flick, Running Man and my father was right by his side as his first assistant director. Jake and his family had started a new chapter in their life. They were confronted with HIV when a time was little known and few wanted to help. Jake's sister was growing ill, and it was on the set of Running Man with Jake in his father's arms and my dad by their side that our paths merge, unbeknownst to me. So here we go, 22 years later, I sat at a beer pong table with a highly skilled opponent across from me. <laughs> After an epic performance of both parties and a few more beers later, we started sharing family stories and then bam, we rediscovered our family's deep-rooted connection. 22 years later, Glazer and Schroer back in action. It has been an honor to stand by Jake's side as my dad stood by Paul's. Jake is a living inspiration and a true hero. In his blood lies the challenge. In his genes lies the answer. In his heart is the engine, and his spirit is the fuel. Since I found that out, Jake has been my employee, colleague, entrepreneur, roommate, and none other but a soul surfer. I know for a fact if all of you in this room have spent years, days, or even just a minute with Jake, you know that he approaches life in a very unique way. Out of what most would consider tragedy, Jake finds inspiration. While I have witnessed that, that makes him the man he is today, what stands out most is at his core, 
Jake believes that we all have an equal contribution to make. And while I've learned so much from him, uh, what makes his energy so great that he has taken the time to learn just as much from me is his ability to relate and remove judgment that has affected me and hopefully all of you tonight. So it is my pleasure to introduce the Partners in Activism Award to my friend and my brother, Jacob Samuel Ivers Glazer. Dylan, what a great job, man. Killed it up here tonight. How am I supposed to follow that? Well, dude, I, I got to say that uh, it was a treat and a surprise for you to honor my mother with a shot of tequila. Uh, my mother was a big fan of tequila. She was also a huge fan of jumping in the pool with all of her clothes on uh, and pulling in as many people as she could with her. So uh, to my mother and to all of you, another shot, salute. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Ah, now we can get down to it. Wow. Um, so let me start by saying that uh, I absolutely never thought in a million years that my buddy Dylan would be presenting me with an award, um, let alone be uh, receiving an award myself. Uh, I want to thank Dylan for being uh, an awesome wingman on th this weekend. Uh, we came into this, you know, not expect uh, expecting anything but uh, what was ahead of, of, of us in our path, and uh, we knew we were going to be surrounded by amazing people, and um, it has just been an absolute pleasure to meet uh, everyone that I've met being out here in Palm Springs. What a great community. I want to thank Jim Casey. Yes, please, round of applause. Uh, Barbara Keller, Co-chairs of the event, um, everybody at the Steve Chase Humanitarian Awards, everyone at Desert AIDS Project. Uh, this has been an absolute amazing weekend from, from last night and, and then this evening. Um, this is too good. The food is absolutely amazing. Lulu, I mean, wow. Um, you got me. I'm a sucker for food, and you definitely touched my heart tonight. So um, I'm a happy man. You know, when the Desert AIDS Project first asked me to receive this award, uh, I, was, I was floored. I really did not know what to think. It's absolutely not every day that uh, you're asked to receive an award. Um, you know, the only other award that I've received, and this will stand proudly by its side, is my 1996 Montana State Rock Skipping Championship Award, which I am extremely proud of. I can throw a stone, let me tell you. So yesterday, Dylan and I were on our way out here to Palm Springs, and uh, I was really reflecting on the journey that, that got me here. I'm 28 years old, and it's been a trip, to say the absolute least, the, the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. Uh, but it's been an amazing experience. You know, to think that 24 years ago, I was four years old. I had not a worry in the world. I was hopping into my Batman costume, I was teaming up with all my friends. We were going on awe-inspiring, action-packed adventures. I mean, we lived life through creation, through imagination. We lived with unconditional love. I had my team, I had my, my pals, and absolutely nothing could stand in our way. The only limit that was placed on us was the limits that we placed on ourselves. We were a team. We could conquer absolutely anything. So I'm proud to say that 24 years later, nothing has changed. Yes, thank you. So when I look at this, partners in activism, and everything that, as a community out here in Palm Springs, everything that you do, I mean, for me, we are all partners in activism. As human beings, teamwork is written into our DNA. We not, might not be jumping into our Batman costumes, might be a little old for that, but the truth still remains that when we become pals, when we work as a team, nothing can stand in our way. You see, it is through our teamwork that today we are able to witness our progress in HIV and AIDS. We have turned dreams into reality. 
My mother dreamed of saving her child. Her dream came true. Here I am, alive and healthy, 28 years old. You know, it was, it was through her inspiration and all of your dedication that today we know how to stop the transmission of HIV from a mother to her baby. And I'm very proud to say that in the name of my mother with the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation and all of your support, in Africa alone, to this day, in the last 11 years, we have stopped the transmission of HIV from a mother to her baby in 12 million women. Absolutely amazing. You see, what was amazing about my mother, and I never really understood this until, I'd say, really the most recent years of my life, she captured our imagination, challenged our perspective, and she bonded us in our fear. You see, HIV was a disease that we knew nothing about, and naturally, we fear what we don't understand. So it was when we saw a mother fighting for her family that we found the courage to look within, face our fear, and as a community, overcome. So tonight, this award, Partners in Activism, is for everyone here, for everyone who continues to inspire me and so many to finish what we started. This is for my father, Paul, for my sisters, Ariel and Zoe, and this is for my mother, Elizabeth Glazer, because if it wasn't for them and all of you, I would not be here today. So I would like to leave you with a quote that my mother gave me. It has been a guiding star for me. It has been a humble reminder when I find myself astray. So in the words of Elizabeth Glazer, my life had certainly not turned out the way I expected, but while tomorrow would bring what it would, today was glorious. Thank you.